What's up, guys? It's your boy TMG, and welcome. Let me show video. <laughs> Today, we're going to be talking about the best Hall of Heroes that ever came out. Yeah. You know, it's, it, yeah. <laughs> look, let, let's talk about this dude real quick, man. Um, so, this Dark Neil Stone fighter, right? He's like, look, this reminds me of last night. We were, we were having this conversation uh, about dating, right? And you know, uh, you know, when you're young, like 20, uh, you know, you try to put on a show because you want to impress your significant other, right? Or the person that you want to court. But as you get older, you realize that, you know, you just want to be honest. And I wish Calm would just be honest. Because <laughs> Dark Neil Stone, like, he comes out, like, you know, like you're 20, and just like, yo, look at me. I'm glamorous. <laughs> and then and then when you go get him you find out that he's shit <laughs> and you just got yourself into a relationship that you shouldn't be in, right but see if Kyle was honest like last night we was on we was on stream right we was talking about how like uh i was saying like when you date somebody you should have an attorney and then they should have an attorney and there should be a contractual agreement and then the fine print uh says all of your flaws you know like for instance like if you was gonna date carlton this Hall of Heroes dude, it would it should say in his contract that he's only able to do one goddamn thing. <laughs> That's it, you know? And it should tell you. And then Carlton's attorney should consult with your attorney and your attorney and, and say, hey, Carlton's only able to do one damn thing. He don't do shit else. He just do one thing. <laughs> he doesn't bring anything to the team. He doesn't do nothing for you. He just crits. Guaranteed on three, and he can deal some damage. Oh, wait. And as a perk, he's a little bit more tanky. Otherwise, you know? So that way you know that shit up front. So, you know, you don't just go farm this unit for hours and hours and hours and hours and find out he's worthless. Uh, but anyway. <laughs> let, me, let me talk about... Let me talk about Carl uh, so you guys can kind of understand uh, where I'm coming from here. And I explain to you guys. Because, um, you know, I kind of take the stance on most units that, like... Every single unit has some kind of utility because Com wouldn't just put units in the game just for no reason. But that's a lie. Um, but where is he at? Okay. So here's the thing. Um, first skill uh, increases it. He buffs himself uh, on his first skill for two turns, which is nice. And then he increases his critical rate for two turns to instantly attacks uh, with, with a powerful strike. Third skill guaranteed uh, to crit, which is kind of weird because like... I mean, if you, if you were to chain this, like, let's say if you use skill 2 first to buff your crit, like, the chain combo would be to use skill 3, right? But he already crits anyway, so it's kind of, um, I don't know, it's weird. I mean, the cooldown time is really long uh, on his third skill, though, so, I mean, I guess it's cool. Um, but, and he has an attack lead. So, really, I mean, the only thing that I could really think of that you would really use this unit for is just, like, uh... A guild battle or some, where you just like, well, bam, boom, third skill. Hopefully, you one shot somebody, and then that's it. Yeah, <laughs> that, that, that's about it. Um, could you use him in giants? Sure. Could you use him in dragons? Sure. But I mean, he le he legitimately doesn't bring anything else to the team. Um, outside of, like, just raw burst damage. Um, and then, obviously, the attack lead is great, but you can't you can't take him into Necro because he doesn't have a multi-hit. Um, I wouldn't really pick him for Giants because he doesn't apply any negative effects, and I definitely wouldn't use him for Raid because he also doesn't apply any negative effects. So um, his multiplier would have to be something stupid insane, and his base attack would have to be a million um, for him to be awesome. Um, so, I mean, that's, that's kind of what we're looking at here. Uh, like I said, the instant crit is nice, but other than that, he brings, n like, in terms of team utility, Carlton is... Carlton. <laughs> he needs Will Smith, man. He needs the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air so he can be effective. But yeah, Carlton... Oh, man, look. The ruling on this, on this guy, guys, is... I would say farm him, right? Just so you can get the fodder. Um, keep one, though. Cause I know they're talking about doing uh, like a rebalancing of like weak LND units, so that he might change. <laughs> but this one's pretty bad, y'all. I mean, normally, look, listen, listen. Normally, when we do Hall of Heroes and stuff, normally, like there's some some good, there's some 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 benefits. But look, just get your whatever your first one is, get them. 
hold on to him, put that dude in storage or whatever you got to do, uh, and just keep him cozy. Um, but then the rest of them, uh, just it's, it's time for a Carlton sandwich, y'all. Uh, put that dude between some bread and feed him to whatever you need. If you guys are skilling up Trevor, um, then do that. Yeah, but yeah, he. Mm, mm. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> this is ah man, I. I was blown away when I saw that HOH. I was like, oh man, this is going to be awesome. Then I looked at his kit and I was like, what? <laughs> what you say about my mama? Uh, but yeah, so if you guys got any questions, comments, concerns at all about Carlton, uh, definitely let me know in the comment box below and I'll be happy to assist. With that being said, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.